Let's do a rundown of every time Terma's right arm has been cut off or destroyed, which activates his trap card, resulting in one of many mysterious entities sealed within, making a surprise appearance. And not just the ones that feature in the anime, but also the ones which haven't even been animated yet in the light novel, so stay tuned. The first appearance was in the Deep Blood arc, where Terma's arm was severed by Oriolus Izzard, resulting in a hidden presence that could seemingly nullify Izzard's attacks without needing a Magic Breaker. As Izzard thought getting rid of Terma's right hand would mean that Terma would no longer be able to negate his magic. A dragon then suddenly appeared, which erased Izzard's memories but did not kill him, and this was later proven to be real and not a figure of Izzard's imagination. Terma's arm later regrew, which made both him and Style realize that his body isn't exactly normal. Later, during World War III, Terma lost his arm again as Fiamma of the Right attempted to absorb it to become the one above God, purifying his original sin to become even stronger. Instead of a dragon, we got an invisible presence, which managed to stop Fiamma's strike, stated to be able to turn a planet into dust or recreate any of the legends in Christianity. Terma was also able to communicate with the presence, known to fans as the invisible thing. And for some reason in the anime, grimoire pages can be seen within it, very similar to the ones in the first index opening. The arm then regrew instantly after Terma declined its help to defeat Fiamma. Next was in Railgun, where Terma lost his arm while trying to nullify the giant black energy ball Misako was creating in her level 6 shift form. It proved too difficult to destroy with Imagine Breaker, as likely the ball was continuously expanding and the sheer pressure ripped off his entire arm. Eight dragons this time appeared and consumed the ball, also turning Misaka back to normal, with Terma's arm reappearing after the dragons vanished into thin air. Let's go back to Index, specifically New Testament, which is beyond the anime. So if you don't want to be spoiled, now's the time to run away. But before you do, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already for more Index and Railgun content on the channel. During the Baggage City arc, Magic God Ophanus crushed Terma's right arm, causing the invisible thing to appear once more. But this time, it was overpowered by Offenus, who also crushed the contents within without a sweat. Terma's arm then likely healed over time or in Heaven Counselor's Hospital. Next with the Kamisato arc, we saw Terma fight against Kamisato Kakaru, who also wielded a strange power in his right hand, Will Rejector, which acts as the opposite to Imagine Breaker, with its ability to send anything that touches the shadow of his right arm to a parallel world, as long as the target is linked to something with conflicting desires. Toma and Kamisato clashed as Will Rejector seemingly erased a Magic Breaker. Unfortunately, we didn't actually see the fight, but Kamisato retreated and was injured, stating that a Magic Breaker wasn't a problem, but something inside messed him up bad. This was possibly a dragon, but we don't know for sure. Just like Ophanus, Iwas crushed Toma's right arm and the invisible thing in the Alistair Crowley arc but stated it had grown since World War III. Terma's arm soon recovered after. Alistair chopped off Terma's Imagine Breaker during the Coronzon arc, using weapons from the Anti-Art Attachment, or AAA, in order to save Terma's life. Terma's body had been turned into a bloody mess by Coronzon's flaming sword attack, but was still alive as Imagine Breaker took enough of the impact. In order to heal Terma using magic, Alistair had to cut off his right hand, otherwise the spell would have likely not worked, similar to when Itsuwa tried to heal him in Index 3. Nothing emerged from Terma this time, maybe because the beings within his right arm realized Alistair was trying to help, or maybe Terma's body was too destroyed for the powers beyond the right hand to work. Later in the same arc, Terma lost his arm from the AAA again. This time, it was hijacked by Coronzon, who was yet another villain who made this terrible mistake. Something within Terma's right arm reached its limit, and numerous giant fish eggs emerged from where his arm should be. They seemingly destroyed Coronzon's soul and split the Royal Yacht Britannia in two, and now popped an evil doppelganger of Terma. But that's another story entirely. In Genesis Testament 5, Terma was killed numerous times by Eradia, the goddess of witches, but he was revived by another transcendent called Good Old Mary, who similarly to Alistair needed to remove Imagine Breaker to resurrect Terma 
using her magic. Again, nothing popped out, probably because Toma was dead this time. In the latest volume of Index, Toma's arm was bitten off by Alice's Griffin, which she had summoned, which then prompted Toma to consciously use the powers within to blow up the creature from the inside. Now that's badass. Toma's arm later regenerated, and it's also unclear which specific thing from within he used to kill the monster. I highly doubt this will be the last time Toma's arm gets severed, as we patiently wait for the mystery surrounding it to be revealed. Over 18 years and counting. Let me know what your favourite right arm moment is down below, and make sure you watch these Toma videos on screen right now if you want to know everything we know about these powers so far.